This is Tara Chang at Elixir 2015. I'm here with John Chindahedi, the art director extraordinaire, <laughs> one of my favorite people ever. So I know you have many, many, many hobbies. Yes, I have a lot of hobbies. <laughs> Is your favorite hobby the, the uh, motorcycle kinds of motoring ones? Oh, wow, that's a great question. Um, you know, I've never sat and thought about really prioritizing my hobbies. Uh, motorcycling is probably the thing that I love the most just because it's the place where I get to completely decompress and just let the, the wind blow all the vile thoughts out of my head and clean out and get out, and especially in Colorado where I get to get up into the mountains and go carve through the canyons. Uh, it's just it's just a lot of freedom in that. And because I'm by myself, I'm not having to worry about, oh, am I keeping these people too long, or is this going too fast, or am I going too slow? I get to just do my thing. Um, and so that's, that's super cool. But on the flip side, I love the racing that I'm doing with my youngest son, you know, that we do with the race, with the race car that we, he and I have been building through the last year and a half or so. And I love doing that because it's something that we get to do in a, in a community. You know, it's so much fun. We get this old super retro car that, everybody, you know, when you're at the racetrack, everybody's coming up and going, oh, my God, I love this. It's so old and so retro and it's so cool. And, you know, how fast is it and how slow is it? And how, you know, and they got a million questions. And I just love that, that vibe and that energy that comes out of that. And then I left the outdoors, the hiking, and the, so. And then you have art-related things. Like and then have art-related things do. <laughs> yes. Sometimes that feels less like a hobby and more like a work. But yeah. So maybe is it what the mood strikes you? What you need at that moment? Yeah. What I try and do is, I, tr you know, for the longest time, I set I set myself up, and I really set myself up for failure so many times because I would have this thing of, okay, I've got a. I've got to draw on my sketchbook an hour a day, and I've got to do this, and I've got to set aside these many hours every week to paint, and this time, amount of time to do my leather craft, and this kind of time to do this. And, and because I would set myself up like that, I would always fail because I never had enough time to do all the things I wanted to do. So I started to take up the thing of, okay, what I want to do really is set aside time every day to do something creative. And so that might be writing. It might be doing artwork. It might be doing leather. It might be doing coding on my... Thing. It might be working with other artists, you know, whatever it was. Or writing your amazing art order blog. Or writing your art order blogs. Incredibly good. Oh, well, thank and you. And you should listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or, you know, going to a gallery or whatever. I mean, you know, I just make these little dates for myself. Mm. You know, the artist way. They talk about <laughs> the artist dates. And that would be my thing is I'd set aside that time. Even if I only said, I only get 20 minutes today to do something. You know, maybe it's just 20 minutes at lunch. I run around with my iPhone that's in here take cameras and take you know take as a camera and sit here and take pictures for my photography side it doesn't matter what it was I just got to do that creative time and when I can stay engaged with my creativity that way I never fail you know I never get set up I never feel like oh I'm such a miserable because I didn't do such and such you know as long as I keep doing that I'm okay yeah and so that's really nice for me because you know that's I spent years just constantly taking myself out of the game because I was so caught up in the fact that oh I'm not doing it right you know and instead I just get to do it and have fun you know so yeah that's good advice for everybody so what is your main objective while here this weekend um my main objective is to connect with other artists you know um I've got some of my students going to be here I got some of my mentees that are here I just got peers and friends and all that you know and so uh, one of the biggest advantages I've gotten since I left Wizards of the Coast is I got to leave that identity behind, mm -hmm. which gave me such a freedom. I had a real depression around it for a while, but now it's such a freedom. Um, I'm not as in big a demand, which is nice, <laughs> uh, because it allows me, you know, we used to joke that we would, we would go to these events and you couldn't take more than 12 steps before you got waylaid by somebody saying, oh, they kind of do a portfolio review. And now I have the freedom. I get to walk around and actually see the art show, which I think is probably the first time I've gotten to see this art show besides dashing through um, in years. And so it's, it's amazing, you know, and then I get to just spend time, like last night uh, at, the, at the hotel, we just sat down, Lisa and I sat down, and a group of artists came over and we just chatted about life versus how do I get into Wizards and how do I do this? And so it was kind of nice, you know, and so... And then I get to still have the freedom of doing great art with Treehouse and doing great art with Art Order and, you know, 
Are you looking for anything in particular for either of those venues? I, I'm always looking for those venues. Uh, you know, I'm always looking for folks who have a very distinctive style for my work at, at Treehouse because those are the guys who get to sit here and make, you know, they make they make the really good impact for the, all the limited edition art. And then for Art Order, I'm looking, a lot of times I'm looking more for new faces, uh, new voices, people are doing something cool. Um, I haven't talked about it in public yet, but I've got an art book that I've been working on with 75 other artists. Um, and it's a really cool thing, and um, if all goes well, we'll be doing Kickstarter in February for it. Awesome. And uh, it's a super exciting, uh, I mean, I've got, I got some really big names, and then I've got some very unknown names who just have great voices that I wanted to bring in, and the whole idea of the book was 75 people that I've either always loved working with or I've always wanted to work with oh, okay. and so that's what so I've got. it's just your very own personal thing. It's my own personal thing and um, Ian McCaig is every five seconds Ian McCaig is pushing me applauding me saying do bigger, do bigger do bigger and so you know the, the scope of the book keeps getting more grand you know now we've got this great theme that we're all working around mm -hmm. that's really creating a lot of artists pushing a lot of the artists because they're not having to do something that's really personal uh, almost all the work in there is going to be unique for the book and uh, and it's it's a book that's set up to I've always had a passion for the arts but what I've really always had passion for is the artists behind the arts and so this is a book where I wanted to say you know everybody loves your work I love your work we'll have pieces and work in there but what I want you to really do is connect with the work in a way that sits there and says this is who I am in the world through my art mm -hmm. um, so there's it's a combination of writing, it's a combination of art. Uh, we kind of borrowed off the Baron Story style journals, um, and we're just having a lot of fun with it. So it's pretty exciting. Oh, I am excited. Yeah. I can't wait. But I, I'm loving it when I talk with artists, you know, like Ian and, and Brahm and stuff, and they're going, okay, this is really causing me to push outside of my comfort zone. And I'm like, dude, that's awesome, you know? <laughs> How often did so, that happen? Yeah, that didn't yeah. get to happen, you know? Yeah. And so um, I'm really excited about it. I'm starting to get final pieces in lately and just super cool. Do you and have an advanced mailing list or something for people to know about your Kickstarter? Yeah, okay. yep. yeah. Okay. So as soon as we get a little bit closer, Good. that's Good. we're going to be nailing all kinds of stuff. Having fun. Well, that sounds great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for letting me try this out. Let's see if we can hear it. You're welcome. Okay. Thanks so much.